Great. Scorpio, I was uh, channeling your energy and I was feeling like you are really, really in a manifesting mode. You're, you've cleared out stuff, you're letting go, you're disconnecting energetically from people of the past, things of the past, and now you're really, really manifesting new love and new stability, strong stability, I keep sensing for you. Um, I feel like you definitely like walked away from stuff that just no longer served you anymore. And now you're really looking forward to what you can bring in. Okay. Yeah, look, your overall energy, we have clean it up. So you've been cleaning up messes or um, taking out the trash, you know, so to speak, uh, a leg up, um, really working on yourself, or maybe there's somebody in your energy that's helping you through this, a friend, a family member, um, someone like that, and a change in the wind. Big changes are coming for you, Scorpio. A big, big major change is happening for you. All right, let's see. What's your person's overall energy? Scorpio's person's overall energy. What's going on? Scorpio's person. What's going on? Scorpio's person. Thank you. All right. We have to be fair, observer, bottom of the deck, truth be told, and not for you. So this could be somebody that you've disconnected from that's still lingering in your energy here. Um, it could be someone new that's observing you. It could be a Libra or someone who does feel like they're very balanced or they want to be fair. And truth be told, hmm. I feel like Scorpio, you're starting to see through people's bullshit. <laughs> All right, you're starting to see things clearly. When you have an awakening, that happens. Like you start to see even friends or family that were surrounding you and your energy, you start to see through them or just see like it's not an energetic match anymore. That could be happening to you. All right, for some of you. But let's get into it. All right, Scorpio's person's current energies. What's going on with Scorpio's person? Also keep in mind when I say your person's energies, you guys, feel free to flip-flop and reverse it because it is a general reading and same to you, cross watcher. All right. Starting off with Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take, reciprocity. Could also be giving to two. Let me see what else is going on. We have Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, uh, in and out, wishy-washy, love bombing. Oh, gosh. Mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 Scorpio, no. This is someone from the past that's still energetically connected to you. This person could have been giving to two. I feel like they were very in and out. Um, actions didn't match their words. They loved bombed you or booty called you late at night or didn't respect your time, your feelings, your emotions, or who you were as a person. They thought they could get away with things. Um, very sneaky, manipulative behavior from this person. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like the truth is coming out and you're realizing that this is not for you. You don't need to be treated that way. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, boy. All right. What else? What else? Current energy is for Scorpio's person. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. They could have been moving extremely slow. Yeah, and then <laughs> Devil card, Capricorn energy. I'm already, I was already feeling that with like the first three cards, toxicity, temptation, controlling nature, sneaky behavior, lies. It's like they came off as like the positives of this Knight of Pentacles, very grounded, methodical, forward thinking, very stable, little slow moving because they want to make sure they make the right decision. That's how they came off. But what came to be the truth and the reality and what you started seeing was this person didn't know what the heck they wanted. They were in and out. They gave you false hope, communication. They're very sneaky and manipulative. And I feel like they were giving to two. And look at, it's funny how cards speak to, speak to us. Like, 
I usually get like a nice energy from this and I feel like the person, male or female, you guys, doesn't matter. There's no gender. He's got like a smug look on his face while he's like dropping the the pendle of uh, the coins, whatever, into these kids' hands. Like, like, yeah, like I'm the man, I'm the Mac daddy, you know, something like that. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying, though, you know, like big ego, like, ha, huh, I got two and they don't know that kind of a thing, you know, and I'm given to two. <clears throat> they don't know. Uh, there's there's sketchy <clears throat> sketchy energy coming off of this person squirt player a freaking player that that's they're just a player they're manipulative they're a trickster they're mm -mm. no no you're seeing this or you saw this. All right, let's see. Blockages. What are blockages for Scorpio and this person? Blockages. Scorpio and this person. Queen of Wands. So there could be an Aries Leo Sag, a fire sign that's getting in between this. Happiness is completely blocked. This fire sign could be somebody from their past. They're not making a decision. This isn't divinely guided. The... The, if it is, it's a lesson for you to learn a karmic cycle, romance, apologies, romantic gestures being blocked, ten of cups, wish fulfillment, ultimate happiness being blocked. Could be something to do with children is a blockage or something from the past here that's coming up. Someone is very unemotional. When they make decisions, it's either very selfish or about them and they don't have a heart for what they're doing you know that saying like hurt people hurt people i feel like this person something happened to them maybe from childhood um where how they view love and view how they love themselves and it's like they're hurting inside so they hurt other people and that makes them feel better for other people to feel that pain that they experience because they're not healed and they need to they need to heal and you you can't heal them they they need to take it upon themselves to heal themselves you could offer healing energy and to them it would be like you're pointing out their flaws or you're smothering them or you know what i'm saying like you can't change someone unless they want to change and i feel like with this energy they're not even they're not even close that wow i wasn't expecting the reading to go this way to be honest but that could be what i mean that's probably what you want to change that's probably what you're trying to clean up you know and now you're energetically that's what it is you're you're you walked away or you're energetically disconnecting from this person and now they feel that and they're they're back in your energy Heartache and pain. It's like stabbed in the heart. Unknown. The moon. Cancer, Pisces, energy. I have Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Sag again. Could be anybody, you guys. Yeah, see, there was too much stuff unknown in this connection, and that was blocking this. This person wasn't honest with you. <laughs> They kept secrets. They hid shit from you. All right, let's see. How do they truly feel about you, Scorpio? How do they truly feel about you? Keep in mind, this may not be the truth, but it's their truth, all right? That's your energy. Karma, judgment, reconciliation. Huh. Well, hold on. I'm getting a message, but I want to see what comes out after it. Healing. I feel like they, it's like they want to reconcile with you, but they don't want to, they're just, they want to reconcile because they feel you pulling away, but they're not coming back as honest loyal, faithful, caring people. They're doing it for selfish reasons. 
They also could see you, um, Scorpio, healing yourself. And there was this, this is a karmic cycle. This was definitely a karmic cycle. And I know you can feel this and I feel like they may be starting to feel it too, but we have five of wands. There was heated, passionate arguments, disputes, one upping each other, projecting, um, competition, drama. And it's like, I'm sure you're all too familiar with this energy because I know I am. We've all been there. We've all dated one of these. <laughs> Sorry, cross watcher. Don't get mad at me. If it's not resonating, it's not you. I'm not talking about you. All right. Um, just someone who's always causing drama and your, your intuition is so strong, Scorpio, that you're always calling them out and then they make you believe something different. And then you're crazy and, you know, why would you drive by my friend's house? Well, because you said you were there and it's been like seven hours and you were supposed to come over. Like, just as an example, you know what I mean? Or why would you text me five times in a row? Or why do you keep calling me? And because <laughs> you lied to me, you know, it's it's that kind of an energy here. Like they projected on you. You're crazy. You're psycho. You're this. You're that when they're the ones causing it is what I'm trying to say with those metaphors. <laughs> you know, you, like, you, you cause the drama, Scorpio. I don't do anything. I just go to my friends, or I hang out, or I go home and go to bed, and it's like, that's not true. <sighs> Gemini energy, how they see you. Oh, God, I just heard, like, a choice. Like, a choice. Like, an option. Even though th the lovers is making a choice in love. It is a soulmate bond. This is a very, this person sees things in a very toxic way. Their views, their perception, it's very, very weird. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So they see you, Scorpio, as loyal, which you are, grounded, long-term, loving, caring, fertile, abundant, um, a motherly energy. So like a caretaker, a nurturer, um that kind of a thing whether you're male or female it doesn't matter that's how they they see you yeah see they see you as a soulmate in their mind it's like because of how they grew up or their view on love they feel like they're giving you genuine love while they're out doing whatever they want mm -mm. there's something wrong with that There's something wrong with that. Here you are. And the Empress. See, again, they see you, Scorpio, as that loving, caring, nurturing, caretaker, compassionate, understanding, unconditional love, loyal, strong. They see you as you, Scorpio, that natural energy that you carry. They see that, but they abuse it. They don't value it, cherish it. It's when they need something, they know who to call. When they feel alone, they know who to call. Um, mm. <sighs> wow. All right, let's see. Potential outcome here. Scorpio, potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will, so do they. You can change your mind, so can they. Um, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energies, all right? Scorpio, potential outcome. Scorpio, potential outcome. There you are, again. The devil, Capricorn energy in reverse. The lovers, Gemini energy. The emperor, Aries energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. <laughs> Five of Cups, sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Does it? Ten of Swords, painful ending. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords, the Moon. Ten of Cups and Temperance. Okay, so here's what I'm getting for this outcome. 
this person either has options <laughs> in love, all right? I feel they have a, a big ego, which is also a big insecurity. People that have big egos are usually very insecure and overcompensate in that way. Um, I feel like they're gonna their intention is to end toxic ways or your intention is to release yourself from anyone toxic. And I feel like you're making that choice in love to love yourself. I feel like this person is going to end up causing a really bad, painful ending between the two of you. You may have sadness, loss, regret, remorse. They may, but I don't know if they... Uh, they might. I shouldn't... I feel like I'm going way harsh on this person. I feel like it's kind of needed. Um, you both may be in this energy of feeling a sadness, loss, regret, remorse. If you re-engage with this person, this is what's going to happen. If you walk away from this person, you are healing yourself. And I'll tell you what happens if you do walk away from this person. This person can't make up their mind. They're so emotionally cut off. They cannot offer any kind of stability. Everything in their life is completely unknown. They don't know what they're doing one minute to the next. They don't know what they want. They don't, they don't know. They think they do for a minute and then it changes. I feel like they're all over the place. If you walk away and you truly come to terms with this ending, as painful as it may seem, the universe is going to deliver you an ultimate happiness here. You're going to feel extremely happy. And I see that already in your overall energy. And I saw it when I was channeling. I saw... Um, what are, you're manifesting new love, a stable new beginning, something that's divinely guided. Yeah. See, you're putting down the burden. You could be manifesting an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you're rejecting possibly an earth sign. But either way, there's healing happening here, and there's a wish coming true for you. Yeah, because you walked away. You walked away. You unstuck yourself. You walked away from the stress and chaos and craziness. All right, biggest obstacle for Scorpio. Biggest obstacle. Courage. You, you can do this, Scorpio. Strength, courage. You can do this. You're the damn phoenix, right? All right, adventure and control. Overcoming either this person trying to control you or they had such a control over you, all right? Or release the need to control anything right now and just go with the flow, be water, be fluid. Adventure, maybe you really just need to get out and go on a new adventure with people you know and trust, all right? Right, what else do we have? Unawakened. See? Unaware. 3D. Ego. Darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet. This person is so unawakened. Crossroads. Divergent paths. Choices. Confusion. Follow your intuition. Divine timing. Patience. Perseverance. Peace. Trust that the divine knows when. And spring. Your love is blooming. Your answers arrive in spring. So I feel like... I don't know where you are, but where I am, that's right around the corner. I feel like things are going to start happening for you. A little bit wishy-washy energy coming from them, but I feel like they do want to offer something to you. All right. That is what I have for you.